Utah-based water treatment company this summer successfully wiped out toxic algal blooms in Utah Lake. And they're going to present their data from this pilot program to state scientists later this month. The head of the company shared their promising results with news specialist Jed Bull at Linden Marina. This is a real issue for the state, and it's something that we can address. Each of the last five summers, toxic blue-green algal blooms containing cyanobacteria have plagued Utah Lake. But at Linden Marina, a Midvale-based company called ATS has shown that it can eliminate the toxins. This is something that works. Richard Allred, CEO of the water treatment company, has been coming to this marina since he was a kid. It's going to be huge for the economy, for recreators, and make the lake usable. His team first sprayed the surface of the water with copper sulfate July 6th and repeated the treatment every two weeks. Within days, Allred and others at the marina noticed the water was cleaner. We knew we had a solution. This aerial imagery shows the clarity of the water in the marina compared with the greenish water in the lake. We can make the water better for recreation, which is better for business, but it's also safer for anybody that lives close enough to the lake or Jordan River where the wind blows off those. At the outset of the project, the ATS team believed that the copper sulfate would not harm the water. But they did not expect that the growth of healthy algae would be so productive and robust. So some of those fears that people have with environmental uh, issues, they're really gonna, we're going to show that they're unfounded and that, that we can treat not only the whole of Utah Lake, but some of the other bodies of water within the state. The DEQ tells me in a statement, this treatment has the potential to provide short-term remediation, especially in trouble spots. Scientists at the Division of Water Quality will continue to monitor the effectiveness and water quality impacts of treatment on the Utah Lake ecosystem. Allred says it would cost $1.5 million to treat the lake each summer. It's a lot less expensive than a dead lake that we have to deal with. and. It's way less expensive than some of the health concerns. ATS has seen similar success in smaller bodies of water in Utah and elsewhere in the world. They present the results to the state later this month. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl. All right, Jed, thank you. And meanwhile, a new warning out of Wasatch County. As officials say, potentially harmful algae has been found in Deer Creek Reservoir. They have collected samples and the reservoir remains open, but officials say not to swim, water ski or boat in areas of scum.